In this video review, I'm going to be unpackaging and taking a look at and discussing the Tango Down um, IO optic cover. And that's model number IO-001. It is a cover specifically designed for the Aimpoint uh, T1 red dot sight. These uh, covers are made uh, available in black flat dark earth, which is what we see here, OD green and foliage green. Uh, the weight is 0.6 of an ounce, the width is 1.60, the overall length is 2.75 inches. Uh, it is specifically designed to keep the optic body and lenses protected in extreme harsh environments. It is also designed for one-handed operation, um, so you can pop the covers off with one hand and the covers actually nest together uh, so they're not flopping around on your optic uh, which is a real nice feature. They are also made of a durable thermoplastic polyurethane material that resists solvents, oils, and UV exposure. Um, so protection of your optic uh, is one of its uh, main cell points. Uh, so you can keep uh, rain and snow and mud and other debris off of your site. Um, also, um, the T1 uh, comes with a bikini lens type cover, which you have to remove, which can be problematic to remove with one hand. And of course, it's not attached to the optics, so the bikini lens covers have a tendency to get lost. And also the little um, uh, rubber straps uh, that hold the caps together break quite often um, so that's kind of a, a, a drawback um, from a, for a bikini lens type of cover so this is a definitely improvement over that according to Tango Down this uh, material is receptive to most spray paints and hydro dipping process uh, it's uh, like I said it fits the T1 it also fits the H1 and the R1 um, this optic cover runs uh, $20, $25, give or take, depending upon who you buy it from. Uh, this one is in flat dark earth. Uh, this is the retail hang packaging for this. Um, more or less everything on the back of this is pretty much what I already read to you. Um, it is resistant, oh, it also says here, it's resistant to oil, fuel, and solvents, temperature, abrasion, tears, cuts, and UV exposure. Um, okay, so that's, that's pretty much uh, everything um, spec-wise that I have off of Tango Down's website. So let's, um, let's take this out of the package. Um, there's nothing inside the package except for um, that little piece of paper that we were looking at. There's no other instructions or warranty information or anything of that nature. So, all right. Um, these caps, you can see how these nest together right here and they pop free so you can close them um, see if I can close these on this should be able to so I think this cap is designed to, to snap onto the end of the red dot side I don't think it'll actually close on this I could be wrong, but that's what it's looking like. Yeah. Um, this is um, I've got a, a seam going across here. There's no logos on the outside of the caps, just a logo on the inside. Uh, seam going around the bottom. Uh, we've got a cutout here for um, your adjustments, um, your uh, windage and uh, 
left right adjustment and then of course your dial adjustment there's also a little tab cut out right here um, which is uh, specific so you can see your dial setting um, kind of hard to make any comments about this particular cover uh, without actually installing it and I am going to do that I'm going to do a separate video for installation of this um, so um, this is just more or less a, a tabletop review and my initial impressions taking it out of the package um, I think this is a clever design and um, having a cover like this uh, for example, if your, your colors are primarily OD green or maybe flat dark earth, putting a cover like this on here uh, gives a little bit of a camouflage pattern to your, your red dot. Uh, since you can hydro dip this and or paint this, that's another plus. These uh, lens caps snapping together and uh, um, gets them out of the way. This is good. Um, I think this is a worthwhile uh, upgrade if you want to add uh, some type of color to your red dot without actually painting it and replacing your bikini lens cap cover as well um, because these, uh, these caps that snap out of the way, you're, you're not going to lose these. They're always with this um, and when, you're, when you don't need them, they're kinda, they snap out of the way. Overall, what I see so far is I, I see um, a, a decent construction of this um, uh, polyurethane material. Um, aside from a, a looks like an injection molded seam, um, that's the only that's the only thing that I see on here that kind of detracts from the overall appearance of this cover. Um, obviously, not a deal breaker. Um, for something like this, there's probably going to be a seam on it somewhere. Kind of hard to avoid that. These caps snap together pretty well. Um, we'll have to see how well these hold up. The one thing I don't like about material uh, caps like this is um, this back and forth movement over time weakens the joint and maybe this could tear off or, or break off. I, I don't know. Um, given that it's polyurethane and it's a thermoplastic, um, as long as you don't twist this thing and twist it off, I don't think this back and forth movement's gonna break it, the lens cap cover off. Uh, that's just my take on this. So far, I think for the money, what I see here, with this Tango Down um, IO cover. I think it's uh, very well worth the money uh, to get rid of the bikini lens cap uh, and have uh, a device that you can paint. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't feel real comfortable painting a, a, a $600 uh, T1. Um, I, I just wouldn't. So um, I'd rather paint a cover like this if I was gonna do uh, some sort of a multicam or something you know I'd paint the cover and then put the cover on the T1 and call it good that's just me though so for this uh, unboxing um, I don't have any other talking points about the Tango Down IO cover for the Aimpoint T1 I, uh, um, take a look at my other YouTube videos uh, where I actually install this and I'll talk about the, the installation process of this Tango Down cover in another video.